Hi, I'm Monica. I'm a developer advocate here at Starburst. And today what I want to show you is how data products and security and access control go hand in hand to help you properly secure all of the data that you have within your organization. So the first thing I want to show you is my data product screen. I have obviously been curating data sets. I've been creating a lot of different data products. I have six here, specifically some with financial analytics, a, a Pokemon data set, and some query history. All of these data products are accessed because I am in the account admin role, which created all of these data products. If I were to switch to my data analyst role, we'd only be able to see the Pokemon data related to my data analyst. If I looked at the financial uh, role that I have created, you'll see that I'll be able to see all of the financial analytics, but nothing more. And then if I look at the marketing role, you'll be able to see that I have no data products that I'm able to view based because I haven't given that access yet or created any data products that are applicable for my marketing team to really be able to utilize. So what I want to do with you is create a data product for my marketing team based off of some New York Uber rideshare data that they are are looking to look at based off of some campaigns they want to run some marketing campaigns on and what I want to do is give access to that data specifically to the marketing team and no other team except the account admin role which will have the data engineering team behind it so I'm going to go ahead and jump in by navigating to the catalog and I'm gonna click on the NYC uber rides catalog I have created I've got this data product schema which if you notice has one table and then it has two different views. So I'm going to give the marketing team select access to view the views, but the data engineering account admin team will have access to two views and one table for a total of three entities. And I'm going to do that all by the different granularity that security and access control that Starburst Galaxy has. So it's super easy and simple. So the first thing I'm going to do is just promote my um, data to a data product. So I'm going to click this button here and I'm going to import all of the metadata that I've already had, such as the description, the links, the contact information. And I'm just going to put in some name information. I'm going to put the summary and then I'm going to put a description that describes what this data product is doing, specifically planning marketing campaigns around geolocation data. And then I'm going to click on the cluster that will be utilizing it and I have my link there as well as the contact in case anyone has any questions. I'm just going to promote this to a data product. And so now you can see the six data products has become seven. And I now have my NYC Uber rides data available to me. If I want to go into this data, I can then look more into it. So I can click on the schema information. And what I want to do is add the um, proper access control around these two views. So I'm going to navigate within one of the views and click on the privileges tab. And I'm going to add select privileges for my marketing department. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other view. So now I have that select access. And what I want to do is go to that second view and do the same thing. So I'm going to be clicking here, adding that select privilege. And so they will only have access, the marketing team will only have access to see these two views in the data product when they're viewing it. Whereas the account admin role will have access to see everything. So let's go ahead and test that out. Let's look at the data product screen. If we are in the account admin role, like we just did, we can navigate to the view details information, and then we can go look at the schema and you can see the access to everything. If we switch back to the data products role, go to the marketing role, and now let's look at the details here. So let's look at those data details. And if we give it a little refresh, you can see that they are only able to see the two views that have been created and given access to the marketing team, as opposed to the other information that you can see within before. So that's just a little tidbit about how to secure your data products properly and how data products can be used to support each line of business and then shared properly within each organization. You can also share this. Maybe we wanted to share some of it with the finance team. They'd have access to do so. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Thank you so much.